North Carolina has more hogs than any other state in the nation except Iowa, nearly 10 million of them. And what goes in must come out. They produce an estimated 20 million tons of waste per year. To get rid of it, most farmers dump it into lagoons and spray it onto nearby fields. It's been blamed for groundwater contamination and criticized by nearby residents who have to smell it. But what if you could turn that mess into something useful, like energy? Yes, you can. Uh, that has been demonstrated uh, quite readily over the past two decades. There are technologies available that you can take the energy in the manure and convert it to electricity. Mike Williams of North Carolina State University spent the past five years studying what to do with hog waste. And his research shows it's very easy to turn it into methane, the biggest component of natural gas. In fact, that's exactly what they do at this experimental plant owned by Alpha Gamma Technologies in Clinton. They put dried hog waste into a big tank, mix it with bacteria, and let nature take its course. Bacteria do all the work. It's a very simple process. The methane gas literally bubbles out of the bacterial mass, bubbles to the top of the tank, goes through a pipe, and is transported to a generator that runs off of natural gas. That generator produces electricity, which could be put on the grid for anyone to use, but it's not. That's because it costs more to produce it this way than with coal or nuclear power. And utilities aren't allowed to pay a higher price for it. So without a way to cover their costs, producers haven't made it past the experimental stage yet. But all that is changing. The legislature passed a bill requiring utilities to get 12.5% of all their energy from renewable sources by the year 2021. And a part of that must come from hog waste. Well, this law... Uh, creates the opportunity uh, for farmers uh, to sign a contract with their electric utility and or their rural cooperative or municipality, um, whoever they currently receive electric service from, uh, for the full cost of the electricity that they generate from hog waste. That's never been possible before in North Carolina. But how tough will it be for hog farmers to become energy producers? A plant can be something as simple as a lagoon with a cover over it. You catch the methane that way and send it to the generator. But you won't get as much methane as when you put it into a tank and heat it, like this one. Instead of having equipment on every farm would be to have farms uh, centrally located and then all of it could be brought into one centralized facility, I think it would make a better economic model. Either way, farmers could earn extra money by making electricity themselves or selling their hog waste to a power plant. It will increase tax revenue and tax base in rural counties, many of which are economically challenged right now. There are other nations who do just as much or more hog farming than the United States, such as China. They have a great need uh, for addressing the same environmental and hog waste management challenges that we have here in North Carolina. And we could be their provider, which is an export industry. That's a grand plan to turn North Carolina into a world leader in hog waste electric production. But experts believe it's possible. And they say at the same time, they'll help shrink environmental concerns like water contamination and odor. There's no odor. The, from the time it arrives, it goes into a closed mixing vessel. What's more, this process reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Methane is a much worse source of greenhouse gases than carbon dioxide, 20 times worse. By not allowing it to evaporate into the atmosphere from lagoons, waste experts say we'll go a long way to preserving our environment for generations to come. These are the steps that, that we need to take to ensure that this important industry in this state is long-term sustainable. Again, it is a very good step in the right direction. Top pork producers like Smithfield Foods are also testing the new technology. And a new state program helps hog farmers pay for new power plant equipment. But there's a hitch in all this. Farmers won't get paid the new higher rate right away. Although that means no increase in your power bill for that electricity right away, experts say it also means it will probably be a while before those hog waste electric plants start popping up.
there will be a transition. It will not be a transition as fast as some stakeholders in this process want because uh, we still have limited funds to provide these incentives. But energy experts and producers alike say they're charged up about this new electricity generating venture and say we've got 10 million good reasons in North Carolina to turn manure into money. It's a new era for the state of North Carolina. People should be supportive and really um, be encouraging about finding the right solutions that can help our economy and help our rural, our, uh, rural counties. I, I see good things happening in five years. There are too many reasons. There is sustainability issues, there is global warming issue, there is energy independence issues, and we feel we address all of them. It is a good thing for the whole country, not just for the state.